Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and welcome to another discussion video where I'm going to be talking quickly about the multi-class endurance championship, the plans that I have for that and how I'm going to be covering it because it's going to be coming back this weekend. So for those of you who don't know, the multi-class endurance championship is an, an incredible racing championship that we did uh, last year and it was pretty much this time last year, that was season 2. Season 3 is making a return this weekend and it's probably going to be the biggest championship racing championship that we've ever seen on GTA simply because it is uh, it, it's happening simultaneously across all three platforms Xbox One PC and PS4 it's going to be happening on all of them with identical rules obviously different drivers but yeah it, it's it's a huge championship and if you want all the information for it the link is in the description for the spreadsheet that contains everything that you need to know now I'm going to be streaming all of the races so basically every single weekend there are going to be three races obviously one on Xbox One, one on PC and one on PS4. Each of these races is one hour and a half long and I'm going to be participating in all of them <laughs> and I don't know at the minute how stupid of an idea that is maybe at the end of uh, at the end of the season I'll know how stupid of an idea that was but that's basically 30 one and a half hour races and the reason I'm doing that is because obviously with the multi-class endurance championship there are three different classes. There's GT1, GT2 and GT3. So when, for example in Season 2, I was in GT, uh, GT2. So you only got my perspective of the racing from GT2's perspective. You didn't get to see uh, in general sort of on the streams or anything like that what a race was like in GT1 or what a race was like in GT3. I did do that at the very end of the season once I'd already won the GT2 championship. The last two rounds I did with GT1 and GT3. But as a, as a whole, I didn't really, uh, I wasn't able to sort of show you all of the cars and, and how the racing went in all of the classes. So that's what I'm going to try and do this season by racing in all three classes we've got three platforms and three racing classes it makes sense that I, I split my time equally across them all participate in all of them it's going to be difficult but I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it and, and getting a, a sort of a different view on the racing whichever platform that I'm on so how am I going to cover this well I'm going to stream all of the races so if you look on the uh, if you look on the, the spreadsheet that I mentioned earlier, there's the full race calendar there, which tells you uh, the rounds, the cars that are being used in the in each round, the dates of those rounds. We've basically got a, a, a three rounds straight off. Then there's a week's break. Then there'll be two rounds. Then there's another week break, and then there's another two rounds. Then there's another week break, and then we have three rounds uh, each after each other, one after each other every week to finish off the season. So ten rounds in total, spanning across about thirteen weeks. Now, the PC and Xbox One races take place on the Saturday. The PS4 race will take place on the Sunday. That's how it's always been. Last season, I focused on the PS4 championship. The Xbox One championship did run alongside that last season for season two. And then PC, the PC season two championship came much later. It had sort of special rules for itself because it was organized strictly by the PC guys. But... This season, it's all happening all together. Uh, round one on Xbox One, on PC and PS4 will all happen on the same weekend. And that will continue. It's got all the same rules all the way through the season. So on a Saturday, I'm going to stream. I don't normally stream on Saturdays, but obviously I'm going to make an exception for the multi-class endurance championship. I'm going to stream every Saturday that there's a race. I'm going to do the Xbox One race first of all. And in that, I'll be racing in the GT1 class. And then straight after that, as soon as the Xbox One race is done, we're going to move on to the PC race. I'll be in GT3 for that. So if you do want to watch any of the any of the action, there, there's plenty of opportunity to do it. You don't necessarily have to be uh, have to be watching live on a Sunday like it was last season, where it was just the the one PS4 race, and then we didn't do any extra coverage beyond that. This season, there's a lot more chance to catch all of this racing action live every Saturday and every Sunday. The race start times, again, will be in that spreadsheet uh, if you want to sort of know when the, the racing will start. I'll obviously put up a video on YouTube, though, to let you guys know that I am streaming and, and the, race is, uh, the race is underway. So 
that's what I'm going to do on the Saturday and then on the Sunday it's going to be pretty much a carbon copy of what happened for Season 2 where we'll just have the PS4 race on the Sunday. Um, and there's, there is also a secondary championship which I've, uh, because the interest for PS4 was so high, we had about 70 sign-ups on obviously there's only 27 places. Uh, I created a secondary championship for the PS4 side that has a smaller number of rounds it's more of an individual championship there's no teams or anything like that but it does follow the regular championship and when those rounds are on i will uh, I'll, I'll stream that as well basically i'm going to stream that as a spectator i'm not going to race in that but i'll stream it as a spectator that will be sort of a, a, a prelude to the main event if you like of the ps4 championship side uh, the, and the races there but I'll, I'll also be streaming that and that will also be happening for the first round as well so the the uh there'll be quite long streams on the saturday and the sunday for the duration of the multi-class endurance championship and i'm really looking forward to to streaming it live and, and hopefully a lot of you guys will show up again the first races are this weekend so this saturday and this sunday uh that's when you want to be looking out for videos and uh, and get looking out on my twitch account for for to, to be notified when i go live if you want to watch the races in full now in terms of videos, obviously in Season 2, again I only focused on the PS4 Championship because that's all that I was doing. Those videos were, were some of the best videos that I've ever made on this channel. You guys really really liked them as well. There are obviously only 10 of them, but each of them were around 40 minutes long or longer. One of them was even over an hour long. And those took a hell of a lot of effort to do. Those took a long time to make. I can't do that for three platforms. There's just no way that I can possibly do it. So what I'm going to do is focus again to keep that continuity. I'm going to focus on the PS4 side for the, the main videos, if you like, in that sort of style. I'm going to bring that back and have those really in-depth videos showing all different uh, all different aspects and, and people people's viewpoints of the race and try to do a commentary over it. But I'm not just going to ignore the xbox one and the pc side because i think it, it's worth if people want to watch those uh, things and, and see the different side to it it's worth having so what i'm going to do with those races is basically make highlight videos like i've done with the live racing series recently when we've done events sort of the, the showdown events and things like that i've done a, a a video as part of that live racing series which is my live commentary uh with sort of the raw footage and, and make a highlight video for each round so every week there's going to be three videos covering the xbox one race the pc race and then the ps4 race as well it's very similar to uh, so it's sort of mixing in the the season one style of videos which were just literally highlights from the stream with the season two style videos which were more in depth i'm going to be mixing those together and having uh having well basically giving me the ability to cover all the all the races in video format for you guys to watch if that's something that you're interested in whilst basically not making it too difficult because there's no way i'd be able to create those in-depth videos for all three platforms so that's pretty much my plans obviously this weekend is going to be the first race again on the saturday the xbox one and the pc race and then on the sunday there'll be the secondary championship for ps4 first of all and then the main championship the main event if you like on the sunday and it's going to be a really fun season. It's been a hell of a lot of... It's been a massive pain in the ass, honestly, to organise. Uh, and this is probably why I've uh, probably why I've not hell hosted it for, for a year. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it now that the main bulk of the organisation is done. And I'm looking forward to getting into some racing and seeing how the championship uh, works out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you all on the streams. That would be great. It would be nice to break the viewer record uh, for that we've had on my streams. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate all of your support as always. And I'll see you next time.